In this video, I'll show you how to remove the email field from your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo store. And if we navigate to the checkout section, Okay, so on our checkout here, we can see we've got this email field. So we're going to remove it using the WeSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin. It's currently free, so you can go ahead and download it. So just head over to WeSuite.com, go ahead and download the all-in-one at checkout plugin. Once you've done so, let's navigate back to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin, go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload it. Once you've done so, if you're a WeSuite customer, you'll see this WeSuite menu here and then you'll see this AIO checkout menu here if this is the first time downloading any of our plugins then you'll see this aio checkout somewhere here so we'll just go ahead and click on all in one checkout okay and then the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a new checkout form okay since i've already created one here i'm going to go ahead and edit this one but in your case you'll just click this button here okay so by default we'll have all the default woocommerce section so we'll have our billing section um, shipping section, order summary, um, shipping method, payment methods, and so on. Okay, and to remove this email section, all we have to do is click this eye icon and then it will be hidden on the front end, okay? So whilst we're here as well, okay, so if we click this settings icon here, we can actually go ahead and add um, extra fields onto our checkout. We can also um, rearrange it as well. So for example, we can go ahead and drag and drop this section here we can rearrange it on a page or delete it okay so once you've done so the next step is just to go ahead and navigate to the design section you can choose to use your default theme design or you can choose one of our templates as well okay so i'm just going to use this modern um, template here and then i'm going to navigate to settings go ahead and enable this checkout we can give it a name as well. It's just for internal purposes. So if you've got multiple different checkouts, you know exactly what each checkout's doing. So here where it says apply to, we're going to set this checkout to apply to everyone. We can set it to apply to a specific user role or a specific user or just guest users, which are users logged out of your site. We can also rename the purchase button. Okay, so here I've just set it to pay now and then we'll just hit save changes. Okay, and then when we navigate back to our shop page, We'll just go ahead and navigate to checkout again. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this side cart widget here. Okay, so again, this is powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin as well. So if you wanted to enable this, you can do. Um, it's totally up to you. Here we've got a free shipping bar. Customers can go ahead and edit um, their um, items directly here. We can offer upsells as well directly within this um, checkout area. So if you want to create a similar function on your site, I'll leave a link in the description below and you'll also see a notification on this video um, linking you over to how to set this up. Okay, so we'll just navigate over to checkout. Okay, and here we can see that the email field has been removed. And that's how you remove the email field in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.